Welcome back everybody. So uh, Henry has made a lot of work of that pile and uh, we'll be on to all those uh, other ones over there with the submerged rocks very shortly. So we'll see how he goes digging them out. I reckon he'll have no issue but we might end up with a few big holes. Uh, so I'm just heading back to the workshop. I'm gonna finish cleaning up all that mess that I've made in there because I want that all clean. Uh, yeah, I don't want to start another job, leave that job there. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and finish that off and uh, get that sorted. Uh, now, truck update. Truck update, right. Well, the uh, I've been losing sleep over this truck, let me tell you. So the, um, the truck has a slight air leak in it. Um, which isn't too bad, but then the truck starts by, uh, it's an air start truck, so it's not a um, starter motor, uh, you know, wind over, doo -doo -doo -doo, it's just air start. So, there, so that's got me, you know, losing sleep on how we're gonna stop that or how we're gonna pump that up. Um, do I need to take an air compressor with me? Um, you know, when we're stopped overnight, how <coughs> are we gonna be able to start this thing? Uh, and then obviously with the permit, you know, not that I can do it until I get over there, but I've been reading the permit, making sure I got everything right. Uh, just needed to make sure that all the uh, the lights and everything worked on it, because obviously it's unregistered, but you want to make sure you've got your indicators and your brakes and your headlights, because no doubt there's going to be times where Henry and I are driving at night. And uh, he gets back to me, oh, yeah, no, it's, um, it's the, the back one's all fine, but the front one's no indicators and one only one headlight works. So I was like, okay, well, can we sort that out, please? And uh the guy's not very mechanically minded but um yeah that's all right but he doesn't know how to fix it uh probably doesn't want to spend the money on fixing it and it's uh yeah just causing absolute headache for me so uh i am pulling out of that deal uh haven't even got an invoice for it yet so it's not too much of an issue uh i'm flying across the other side of the country to pick up a truck i don't want to have all these headaches driving back and you know, get stuck on the Nullarbor or something like that. So, anyway, I've gone back to the dealer. Uh, he has, um, he's working with me on that. Uh, we're gonna find out tomorrow which truck and uh, all that. Um, so, to, the truck still isn't confirmed now, but yeah, it's, don't worry, this is cause, I'm, I'm, it's gonna turn my hair gray. Uh, and I don't want that, so. <laughs> but I'll get it sorted, we'll get it sorted. Tomorrow I should have a, uh, a yes or no, well, it should be a yes, but, and then uh, I could change the flights around because the flights are already booked. Uh, and yeah, we can we can get it sorted and bring it back. Um, essentially next week is our only week in uh, to be able to bring these things back, or bring this truck back. You know, we've got all the gypsum rocking up. We need that spread. Um, I haven't called the lime yet because they're having issues, but uh, then we've got the lime to spread. Uh, we've got uh, training, like four lots of training to do uh, next month and then the month after. So uh, there's that. Then seating's obviously coming up, things like that. I just, this this week is a good week to uh, go and get it. So that's why I'm wanting to go and get it next week. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I guess I'll get back to you on uh, how we go, but it won't be to the next video because uh, obviously the next video is the next day and uh, that's when I'll know yes or no on the truck and all that. So leaving you guys up in the air again, but uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll know more tomorrow. So I've got the forklift in here, like I mentioned in the last video, so I can start to put things up in the loft. I might actually need to go down and get some more containers. We've got our containers that need to go down to uh, whatever it's called, I can't even remember now. Where you take all your chemical containers to, um, they're all washed out and cleaned and then they get used for recycling. It'll come to me at some point. Anyway, I've got them down there and I can cut them up to, to put some bolts and things in because we've got, we'll see how we go. I've got a lot of miscellaneous stuff. I can tell you things like that will probably go to the rock. Uh, it's just um, lots and lots and lots of years of uh, stuff just chucked and chucked and chucked. So. It's going to take a bit to sort and clean, but once it's done, it'll be ideal. We'll have it all neat and uh, organised, which is how we like to have it. Starting to accumulate a bit of a pile for things going to the loft. I'm going to sort out these bolts and then get them up there. Uh, the hitch will probably just go uh, down in between the, uh, the two cabinets there. 
I'm uh, just about to go back down. I'll show you what I was meaning, the, the, the containers. Um, I'm gonna get some containers to chuck the, uh, the random assortment of hose clamps into. Now I've do got um, the normal hose clamps. So these ones here, there's an actual, well those three colorful boxes over there are all small, normal, uh, get out of the glare. Three normal, small um, hose clamps. But then I've got the, the bigger, sturdier ones that um, we did just used to hang up here and they were hanging over everything and just, well it looks messy, it looks crap. So uh, I'm just gonna go down and grab some containers. We'll cut them up and then we'll chuck them in here. Just, uh, yeah, they're all, you know, around the same size. So get them all in even boxes and then, uh, yeah, chuck them up. And just as I'm standing here, more bolts. So that'll go probably into the, uh, into there so that they're down here. I don't know what those bolts are for, but anyway. So I'll show you these containers. It was gonna bug me, uh, the you know, the name that I was looking for. It was on the tip of my tongue, I couldn't remember. Drum Muster. I'm walking down and I remember Drum Muster, which is uh, that symbol right there. So I'm just going to grab, now well, first of all, Drum Muster is uh, like a collection point uh, around the communities. You go and you take all your, your drums to it. So instead of us throwing these into landfill, they get reused, recycled. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that they're all like triple washed. There's no uh, residue in them. And uh, you know, something like uh, this is manzing and copper. You can end up with like a lot of staining, but uh, Henry's got them all nice and clean. So you, they, they want them all clean, no staining in them. Uh, you take the caps off, so one that they can all dry out and you don't have any wet stuff. And uh, yeah, then you deposit them down there and then someone comes and picks them up and they go and get reused. So it's a, it's a good program. We've been a bit naughty in the past not doing it, but that's why I've got all these cages to, you know, do it properly. Uh, so anyway, I've got them here because we haven't taken them down yet. So I'm going to choose my appropriate size container that I want. You know, I'm not sure, maybe a few of these ones and just cut them, you know, about here. And then I can fit my, uh, all my hose clamps in, you know, in a couple of these and have it all sorted. So I am making a bit of a dent in it. Got a few more things up on my pallet to go up. Uh, I'm just combining all the bolts uh, into just one container that'll probably end up going into a bigger container Because as you can see I'm just ending up with random boxes and containers of bolts So just trying to make it all neat. You know, I don't need 30 containers up there. I just need one I don't even know what I'm gonna use the bolts for but you know, you just can't bring yourself to throw away a good bolt uh, And then you got things like this. So this was just a box that had some random stuff in it you know, we've got spark plugs, uh, these springs here, so they're from a, um, from a PDO on a chaser bin, so that's the brake clutch system there, so that's, uh, yeah, that's what that's from. And then uh, some, some rusty bolts that'll probably be thrown out, and then washers, so I'll keep the washers because they're good, but other than that, yeah, it's just slowly getting through it, and then, um, yeah, it, it needed doing, it's a big job. Uh, I haven't really done much on this side. Uh, this here is the uh, the hose clamps, like I was saying. So it just gets them all nice and neat and tucked away instead of hanging up there catching cobwebs and looking a bit like crap. So uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have this done and be out there helping Henry. But Henry's more than capable to do it by himself. Uh, and then as soon as I finish this, I'll uh, head out there and go drive a truck or something for him just to help him out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, no, until then I'll keep chipping away at it. Like I said, it's something that needed to be done. It's a, uh, as we all know, everything just starts to come out and out and out. It's sort of like this workbench, you know, we just dump, dump stuff on there and there's no room to work on it. So, I mean, that's, that's a get, oh, I should be doing that at the same time, but I'll get, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. The thing I need to make sure now is that I don't create just rubbish up here. Oh, should have turned the light on. You know, the loft we only just cleaned out um, yeah, a couple of months ago. So I don't want to go and bring up stuff up here that doesn't need to be up here. Uh, so anyway, I reckon 
I'll move these mats that are just there and then everything, I'll see if I can sort of fit it there. See how we go, just try and make it all a bit neater, a bit more organised and uh, better. So I've tried not to make too much of a mess of just dumping stuff up here, so try to put things in places that it should be and yeah. The last thing I want to do is start hoarding things up here. But uh, anyway, I've got, that's my next issue, paint. We've got so much paint that I don't know what, what's it from, what it was it for, you know, is it still good? Uh, yeah, anyway. This is uh, looking pretty good, so I mean the last one is uh, these three here. Now they, they are the buckets, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. The rest is going to the tip, like all that stuff, that's all dirt and stuff. That'll go to the tip, uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, we're, get, <laughs> we're getting there. Alright, well, these were the containers that were on the ground over there. To be honest, I cannot be bothered going through them. <laughs> I know it's pretty slack of me, but I just can't. There's lots of little weird fiddly things in there. So what I'm doing is I'm just chucking it back up. The, I'll chuck it in the loft in those containers. And if we ever need a search for something, we'll, uh, we'll go up and search for it. So everything on the ground here, that's all rubbish. That's going. Uh, those over there will go to the rock. Uh, those I'm going to put in the loft. The wire I'm not too sure about. It's pretty, pretty bad wire that's been there for, I'm going to say, over a decade. Uh, so my last thing is the, the paint. Now, the paint, I'm just going off, can I open it? Uh, I was able to open one, but again, I don't know why we're keeping it. Like, this is an interior. Like, there's nothing that we need to paint in, inside. So I'm sort of tempted just to, just to throw it out. I know that Dad watching this will be like, oh, don't throw it out, but... So that's a high gloss interior and exterior water-based enamel. So again, like why do I have that? Why, yeah, yeah. Like one thing we do need to do is paint the, the diesel tanker out there. Uh, so we'll do that. Hopefully if we get around to moving it this year or not, we'll, see. we'll want us to see how our year goes. But I've already bought paint for that. So I've got brand new paint, new, and I've written on it what it was for. So I've got primer and then, you know, top coat. Whereas all this, I've got no idea. It's all just random paint. I reckon that one at the back there, the plastic looking one, that is for a house. Uh, the one that has, well, like this, this one here looks pretty, uh, pretty newish. So that's for a metal shield epoxy enamel, protects against rust and corrosion. So that one, I reckon will stay. It looks new, looks good. I don't even need to worry about trying to open that. It's things like that, a no name, there's liquid in there, but you know what? Rubbish. Looking a lot better now. So I've uh, got the trailer because Henry's got the loader, obviously. Just chucked all the rubbish into that. Uh, don't look at this side. This side is still horrible. I've still got to go and do a decent clean in there and actually throw some stuff out. But this side's all clean. So Got my stuff all hung up, clean that out. Uh, the, uh, I don't think these have really changed since I last showed you, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I've still got space in here, which is nice. Means that, you know, when we buy something that's gonna be used, we can chuck it in there or, yeah. I'll tell you what, these keys, these keys are a pain. There we go. But yep, no, that's all done. So uh, I've gotta go chuck that off in the tip and uh, then I'll see how Henry's getting on and see if he wants a hand after lunch and, yeah, then uh, if, he, if he's all good and doesn't want a hand, I'll start here and see what I do here, but <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. So that's uh, one rock pile already done and dusted. Uh, we'll come up to this one. Henry said there's a, quite a large rock in here that we're going to have to um, try and shift, so we'll have a look at that one. So I've just parked my car at the power pole, but even just around the power pole, we've got these... Uh, there's nice, nice rocks that need picking up, so you guys probably can't see it, but the truck's over there and Manny's all the way over there. So when uh, Henry's just driving out now, we'll go over and pick those things up and bring them across. But this is the one that was in the, the rock pile I'm walking up to now, it's the one that was in the uh, crab hole. 
and I, well, I think the next one is the one that's got those big submerged rocks in that we're um, you know worried about a bit but uh, I think I see the rock Henry's talking about it's this nice giant big rock on the top so this big bad boy right there he's uh, a bit worried about that one because you know you try and drop that into the trailer you're gonna damn near break the trailer so we might just uh, try and use the two loaders pop it into one of them and then just move it to underneath the power line because well, underneath the power pole because there's nothing you can do with the power pole so may as well uh, yeah move it to there good yeah it's a, it's a decent size One large rock. So while he's off tipping that off, I might just start making a, uh, a go on the truck. So Henry's off with, uh, with that load. Works quite well with two of us. Oh, hang on. You're a bit dirty, hang on again. There we go. So uh, yeah, Henry's off. And it works quite well with both of us. Just, you know, staying out of, out of each other's way. The only issue is the telehander with the rock bucket is letting all the little rocks through. Now, the little rocks won't cause injury to the headers, but it'd be nice to get them all. Uh, I'm just walking over here to show you the size of this rock that uh, we pulled out. So uh, there you go. It's a nice big, uh, big rock. There's a uh, an iPhone for scale. So, <laughs> we all know an iPhone's you know a scale of measurement. So yeah, uh, we'll keep on. Well, I'll probably just drive around and pick up these random little ones that are around the place, and yeah, just wait for Henry to get back. This here is our, our next rock, rock pile we're going to go to. It's the one that's got those three uh, sunken rocks that we were talking about in the last video. And I've just seen we've got a sunken rock there and then there's a sunken rock just there as well. So, it's, um, those ones are, you know, the tines just bump over. These other ones are a bit bigger. So I'm hoping that we can actually dig these things out and uh, not have too much issue. Because, uh, yeah, you obviously don't want your gear going over the rocks and we'll damage them. So, yeah, just we'll try and see what we can come up with. just then wasn't, uh, wasn't the greatest of successes. We'll try it once we've uh, got this new pile down, but there we go. The, uh, that pile's all done and dusted. So there's a bit of a hole there now, but um, we've, uh, it'll be right. So we're we call them crab holes, because, uh, I don't know, my understanding is, you know, ancient crabs are, were the size of uh, loaders back in the day, and that's their little hole that they were in. I don't know. That's what, I'm, that's what my guess is, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. So, yeah, it's a crab hole. They're just undulating holes throughout the country. When we get a lot of rain, they fill up, and they're not productive. Nothing to do about it. But, uh, 
uh, yeah, I'd rather have it so we can save through it or at least spray through it and not end up with all these weeds. Well, as Henry goes off for a, uh, another run, uh, depending on how much I show you of what happened on that last one with the other camera, uh, I, st I tried to go from that side and I ended up picking it up and then dropping it. The reason was it's all just small rocks. It was just going to fall all through my my uh, my bucket. So I left that for Henry and I got the big stuff. Uh, Henry was able to get out two big rocks. Uh, not the one that I was working on, but he was able to get uh, two others out. Um, and we can tell why they dumped it here because there's uh, you know, lots of those around. And then this is probably the main reason. Just here, that one there, that's a big submerged rock. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work around it and then see how we go. We should be able to get it out. Um, yeah, I'll show you the holes from Henry's digs. So you got that one there. And then uh, over here is uh, the other hole. So yeah, they look, you just don't know what you're going to get when you when you start digging them up, but yeah. Well, we just had a little bit of an intermission. We had a uh, flat tire on the trailer, so we just had to change that. Uh, turns out we don't actually have a spare of that. Had to pinch it from the flex end trailer, put that on, but we're back in action now. Henry's just bringing the truck out. He must be coming a long way around. And uh, yeah, we'll get back into it, get back into this pile. So there's not much more that I'll be able to do with Manny, just because it's lots of small rocks. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'll load this load and then after that I'll jump in the truck and start driving the truck and then while I'm away with the truck Henry can focus on pulling these sort of rocks out so there's not too many big rocks left there's a lot of little rocks in this pile and uh, as I'm tipping that bucket because the little rocks are coming through they're actually not falling into the uh, the truck where they should they're bouncing off and uh, one nearly broke the windscreen, so I've parked that up for now. Henry's going to do this, and I'll uh, I'll just run the truck. So this is where Henry's been dumping everything, just in the uh, creek line here. This is the beginning of the creek line, and uh, on the other side there, you can see the other piles. That was from uh, Dad and I back when we uh, first started removing all the rock piles. So uh, we've got a fair bit of uh, stuff in there now. A few, uh, few rocks have been moved. All right, let's see how Henry got on with uh, getting those rocks out. And he had, uh, we basically got them all out. So uh, one's in the bucket there. That was the, uh, the one in the hole. There's another one there that needs to come out. Uh, this is the hole from the one that I tried to do earlier in the, in the Manny. So in there. And uh, yeah, no, he said they're, they're all coming out nice and easy. So yeah, we got, well, those, those are also those big ones there. They've all come out. You can see there's a nice big hole here. Look at that. So now it's done a good job getting them all out. Um, yeah, he said there's, well, as we're going along, there's a few still in there. So, uh, yeah, I reckon that big one there is from that hole just there. So, uh, yeah, there's a few big ones still left in there. But we're getting them out, which means that, uh, you know, we should be able to see it here, through here, no worries, and uh, have no issues. So uh, there's a few more to go. Uh, there's one here and there's uh, one just there so 
and he'll get them when he's uh when he's done all this. So we've finished this rock pile and as you can just see Henry's now just battling with this one rock that we've got left submerged in there. And just been cleaning it up with the telehander and going around and yeah, so we've got that big rock there and then there's those other two just on the other side of the truck there in the paddock. And uh, yeah, then that's us done. Um, yeah, we've got another rock pile over there that we'll probably attack or at least get the gear around to. Uh, tomorrow, hope, again, hopefully we've got JMB here so we can um, get some gypsum carting and uh, yeah, we'll need the telehandler for that and obviously one of us to, uh, to do that. Looks like there's two rocks in that. This is the last rock and then we're done. As you can see, we've got a lot of big rocks on the top there, so that's all the ones that were left on the ground. And uh, this is obviously a big rock. Uh, it's from here to here, so you can see Henry's just trying to trying to get underneath it, try and dig and oh, I saw it move. Like I said yesterday, well in the last video, it's so dry, you know, you can't... I mean, he's, he's hitting a rock, but uh, if it was, you know, his ground was softer, he'd be able to dig it out a bit easier. But, yeah, we'll see how we... We've been seeding over this one for the past, I don't know, three decades, so I guess we could probably leave this one. Just backplate all this over and, yeah, see how we go. He's try There's all these other rocks in the ground that are in the way for him. That's why he can't get his blade in. We've admitted defeat. It's uh, like I just said, we've been seeding over the last three or four decades, so I think it should be fine. Um, who knows? It might get weak now that we've been digging around it, but there's just all these other rocks around it that Henry just can't get his blade in. So what it would mean is we'd have to dig a really big hole to get it out. I think we've done pretty bloody good with what we've got, so uh, we're just going to leave it there. So, And with that, we'll leave the video there. So thank you everyone for watching. Tomorrow's video, or so the next video that comes out, uh, I will have the update on the truck. If we're going, if we're not, uh, <laughs> fingers crossed everybody that we're going. We should all get sorted and we'll be able to go get it. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So anyway, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.